I'm at Kenton Tower now and I'm at the 111th floor which is like 448.8 meters high. As the landmark of Guangzhou, visitors have a bird's eye view of the whole city from the top of Kenton Tower. Here is the bubble tram. It is one of the most popular activities for visitors. The tram has 16 crystal sightseeing cabins revolving around the tower. It spins around the top of the main body of the tower at 455 meters. The sky drop, 100 foot freefall, starting at 485 meters, is the highest heart stopping vertical freefall in the world. This is how it looks like. And this is the reaction. From the moment I saw the sky drop, I knew I had to try it. Fortunately, I got someone to film my experience. Here it is. Hey look, that's me with the blue shirt. The view from the top is amazing. And also scary at the same time too. Wait, why is the reaction so lackluster? Oh well. Anyways, that's it for the Canton Tower Skydrop. The combo ticket with the Skydrop costs 228 yuan renminbi. The view from the Canton Tower elevator looks really really pretty. So that's it for part 1. Okay, so I've got some free time now, so here goes. This is macarons from Macau, uh, TWG. Yeah, bought this at the uh, Venetian Macau. I'm only allowed to have one, so let's see how it'll taste like. Don't ask me why. <laughs> oh. As you can see, there's like many different flavors. There's two that's uh, green tea, matcha. There's one that's milk tea, another that's chocolate or raspberry, and another flavor, purple. I don't know what it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this one then. Yeah. This one, sh this should be the Sakura, this should be the limited edition one, I don't remember. Here goes. Yeah, okay. Oh, but wait. I've got milk. Okay. I got milk here. It's a new nai. Mmm! I still don't know the flavor. <laughs> it's chocolate inside there, but I don't, I don't remember what's the, what's the, that's the, the dough. I think it's like 75 baht per piece, I think. Mm, it's pretty expensive, but I guess that's what you should expect from stuff in Venetian. Okay, I'm out of milk. So I guess that's it for now. I'm gonna have dinner soon. Okay, so I got more time to have another bite. This one's from Family Mart. Tan bao niu rou. It says that it's actually like, you know, rice bun with shredded beef and then with and then wrapped with egg. And I've got here wei tanai, vita soy. It's chocolate flavored. Here. It's egg, rice, seed. It's like onigiri. Okay, I'm gonna start now. If you ask me if it's flavorful or not, yeah, it's pretty flavorful, but I'll just have the egg then and then I'll save my stomach for later. Overall disappointing. <laughs> I guess that's it for now.
heading to the airplane now. It's already boarding time. I'm at boarding pass. So I guess that's it for this trip. Now that I got a chance to sit on a business class seat, let's do a quick review. So in front is a screen. I've already tried sleeping already. It's not that comfortable if you're tall. I'm 173 centimeters tall. It's not that ideal. Here's a tray table over here. On the screen, there's two USB ports. This is like the place where you put your legs. What else is there on the seat? This is the control. You have to move. Before you lay down, you have to move yourself forward. Here's the lights. You can set it up to three levels. Remote control is over here. It's pretty similar to the one in economy class.